Hello Oracle World, this is Justin, and in this YouTube Oracle video tutorial, we are going to discuss dropping table spaces. So, let's log into our Finance Oracle database, set in our SID, ensure it's set properly, and log in into our Oracle database for the SQL Plus program. Now, ensuring that we are connected to the correct Oracle database, which should be Finance. Now let's take a look at our table spaces. So, on this particular database we have the table spaces which are crucial to Oracle database operation. You'll find them in usually all Oracle databases. System, SysAux, Undo, and Temp. So, let's create a user table space. Create table space data data file c colon slash database aura data finance data 01 dbf size 10 meg what we're saying here is create table space called data the data file which is the, the physical os file which the, this table space will be um, which, is, which this table space's data will, will be a part of is in c colon slash database slash aura data slash finance slash data 01 dot dbf and it will be 10 meg in size Okay, table space created. And if we select table space name from DBA table spaces, we see that data is now a defined table space. And if we say select file name from DBA data files where table space name is equal to data, we will see that C colon slash database or data finance data01 at DBF is a data file that belongs to the data table space. And we go into our DOS prompt and we go to database or data finance and we do a DIR we will see the data 01.dbf table space there data file there now to drop an oracle table space what you do is the following command drop which means delete an oracle or remove table space data table space drop that was easy, huh? And if you select table space name from DBA table spaces, it's not there anymore because we did a drop drop uh, table space. And if we do select file name from DBA data files where table space name equals data, we will see that nothing comes back because we dropped the table space. And if we go into our operating system though, we will see that the data01 DBF file, data file is still there. That's the default behavior of the Oracle drop table space command. It does not delete the underlying and operating system file. It just gets rid of the definition of it in the Oracle Data Dictionary. So, we have to delete it manually with the OS command. Delete data01 at DBF. And that gets rid of that file. So, to delete that file, we do the following. Let's first, let's recreate our table space. And there it is. And there it's file. There's its file, so it's recreated. We type in the following. We say drop table space data, including contents and data files. So now we say drop table space data file, but we added the clauses including contents and data files. Table space dropped. It's not. In, there's nothing in the defined table spaces and the file isn't known to Oracle anymore. And if we go into OS and do a DIR, voila, the data file is gone. Okay? So when we do a drop table space including contents and data file, we get rid of the data file as well. Okay. Let's recreate our table space again. See that it's there, data. And see that the file is there. Now let's create a table, and a table we can we can actually tell the table what table space to belong to. So we do the following: we say create table friends. This will be a list of friends of mine, not all of them. <laughs> name their name, varcar20, and we're going to add the clause table space space data. 
So this is saying create the table friends and put it in table space data. Now I'm going to insert some data into friends. So insert into friends values. Uh, I'm a friend of me. Uh, my buddy Rich. Mark. Fran. Jeff. Now if I do select from friends, select asterisk from friends table, I will see all the friends that I values that I put in the friends table. Justin, Rich, Mark, Fran, and Jeff. And if I say select table space name from DBA tables where table name is equal to data. No, I'm sorry. Is equal to friends comes back with data. So this tells us that the table space that 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 the uh, table friends belong is in is data. So now let's do a drop table space data including contents and data. Just drop table space data. Sorry. Now we get an error message that says table space not empty use including contents. You see so the including content so the drop table space command actually tells Oracle to look in the table space to see if there's any what they call segments in it. And it saw that there was. There was a, a, a table called friends in that table space data. So it's saying, hey, table space not empty. So we have two options at this point. We can either manually remove the table friends with the drop table command, or we can just say including contents to the drop table space command to drop the table space and everything that's included in it and its data file. I choose the latter. So, drop table space data, including contents and data files. Now it deleted a table space. Now, if I select asterisk from friends, the table is not, does not exist because I deleted the table space in which it, in which it lived. And of course not listed in our table spaces anymore. It's not listed in our DBA data files view. And of course the file is not on the operating system anymore either. Okay. Let's go ahead now and let's talk about some special table space attributes. System is the root table space of Oracle, if you will, for my Unix guys. Okay, out there, my Unix and Linux guys. All right, he's always online. If he's not online, that means the database is not up and running. It's not functional. It's crashed. Okay, and he's always going to be in use. So you can never ever get rid of the system table space. Okay, so if you try to. going to say cannot drop system table space and it doesn't matter what clauses you include you just can't do it and by the way same thing goes for sysox table space won't let you do it these are special table spaces and you can't drop them. Now you can drop the sysox table space, but there's some special parameters with that. And in other in other videos that concentrate solely on the sysox table space, we talk about them. <coughs> okay, but you can't. But just understand that you can't drop the system or sysox table space. Just can't do it. Now, let's go ahead and let's recreate our data table space. And let's do file name from DBA data files where table space name is equal to data. Now let's go ahead and let's add a date. Let's add space to this table space. Let's add a data file to this table space. So let's say alter table space data add data file equal slash database or data 
finance data 02.dbf size 10 meg. So what we're saying here by doing the alter table space at data I'm sorry, alter table space, yeah, data add data file c colon slash database or data finance data 01 at dbf is we're effectively adding 10 meg to this ta of space to this table space. And if we do a select file name, we see that we have two file names now, data 1 and the one we added, data 02. And the operating system will show two files, data 1 and data 2, 10 meg. So let's go ahead and let's drop the additional table. Let's say we don't need that extra 10 meg anymore. So let's drop that additional data file. So let's say, so we do alter table space data drop data file c colon slash database for data finance data02.dbf alter table space data drop data file c colon slash database or data finance data02.dbf so we're saying drop this file from this table space effectively taking away that 10 meg no problem and we see that the data table space only has one file now now let's take a look at the files associated with the system table space now let's go ahead and let's add a data file to the system table space let's add 10 meg to that table space so alter table space system add data file database or data finance system 02.dbf oops screw that up didn't I alter table space system add data file c colon slash database or a data finance system 02.dbf size 10 meg now if we just take, take a look at the, the data files that make up the system table space we will see we have two system 01 and system 02 and we look in our and we look in our database and we see that we have and I'm mean, in our operating system and we see that we have two system 01 and system 02 now let's go ahead and let's remove the system 02 file from the system table space Alter table space system drop data file c colon slash database or data finance system 02.dbf. Can't do it. You can't, this brings us to our point. You cannot drop a data file from the system table space. So once you add, so be very careful about adding data files to a system table space. Because once you add a data file to the system table space, you cannot drop it. Now there's another um, there's another instance where you wouldn't be able to drop even a, a user table space. Okay, and let's talk about that now. Okay, there is a table space called the global the database default table space, and you find out what that table space name is by typing in the following: select property name. I mean, I'm sorry, value from database properties where property name is equal to default permanent table space. The so system by default is the default table space which means that all user data all right when you create a user in an Oracle database which are, which is which are covered which is covered in other Oracle YouTube videos, um, you define a default table space, and if you don't define a default table space to create user, they end up in this table space, which is the default by by Oracle installation default. <laughs> I was saying default too many times, and that's where all segments, tables, and other segments that users may create get stored automatically if they have what we call quota write permission on that table space, which is also covered in another YouTube video, user quotas. So. If a table space is defined as the default table space, it cannot be uh, dropped. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the data table space the default. And I'll show you what I mean. So we say alter 
database default table space data. Alter database default table space data. So if you, if you don't specify a default table space with the create user command oracle command, it will all the data for the user will automatically go to data. And if we select what the default table space is again, now it will say that it's data rather than system. So now let's do a drop table space data. And now we get the error, cannot drop the default permanent table space. So Oracle will not let you drop a table space if it's the default, um, if it's set as the current default database table space. So we're going to change it back to system, the default table space. Verify that it's system. Now we're going to attempt the drop table space data command. Include in contents and data files. And this time, the data the data table space is gone. 